Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. And we're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. And today we are continuing uh, a recipe that we did yesterday, <laughs> or finishing this cake, I should say. We made a Texas pecan butterscotch cake in three eight inch uh, layers is what it is. And for, for any of you that might just be watching this video, you'll need to go back to tomorrow to watch the, uh, get the recipe. You mean yesterday. What did I say? Tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a little off this morning. <laughs> anyway, go back to yesterday's video to watch the recipe and the uh, ingredients and the amounts uh, for this recipe. Now, uh, the members, our members... Uh, that's on our website the recipe you can print it it is a long recipe so you're able to print it if you're a member uh, so anyway I d we did give you the ingredients as we go so just go back and watch that video now uh, the yet yeah, last night we dropped we left off with take uh, putting the cake in the oven and it didn't get done so when it got done I let it cool for 10 minutes and then I wrapped them in saran wrap and I put them in the freezer. They're not frozen now. I got them out early this morning. They're very cold. So that's the way I want to keep them until we get ready to ice them. So I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator while we make the frosting. That'll help make the yeah. frosting go on yeah, better. Yeah, it does. Okay, so first of all, we are going to put a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I did not turn the burner on because I did not want this. I'm going to get make sure it's a half a cup. Excuse me. Now I'll turn the burner on. And uh, Oh, you already got one over there? I got one. The heavy cream, uh, you want to uh, let it simmer. Don't let it come to a boil. Just get it really, really good and hot just before it comes to a boil. So we're going to let that, just put that in the sink for me, Linda, please. So I'm going to turn this on, but I'm going to watch it, and I'm not going to walk away from it because I I made a, a batch last night, and the reason I made a batch of frosting last night is because um, I want to, uh, it needs to be cool. And right. when this, you cool, the, you cool this mixture, but it's still too warm to do it right on film. So I made an extra batch last night and um, I put my milk on and you know what I done? Scorched it. I went right over there and sat down and started on the computer and started an looking at emails and then I happened to think, oh my Lord, I, <laughs> I left my milk on and I had it on high and I come over here and it's just boiling away. Not to boil over. <laughs> No, it's not that much in here. But I want you to know this. Look at this pan. See, whenever that's amazing. See how it just just uh, that's exactly how it done when it was boiling, and and just and what it should it should have stuck, but it didn't. I just knew I'd run my pan, but it didn't. That's, I was very impressed. Yeah, this is that two quart nonstick scale uh, boiler. I think it's called a saucepan. We call them pots. Yeah, we call them boilers and pots. pots. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to walk away from it because uh, um, I want to keep it hot. Now, after we after we do this, we have one eight ounce cream of cheese and one stick of softened butter, unsalted butter, and and I'm letting it soften up. We use imperial powdered sugar in this. But anyway, we'll we'll beat this in a moment. But I want to get this right here done so that it show you how you do that. We use Linda. Would you put this back in the fridge sure for me, will. please? Thank you. This is two cups of. I'm gonna turn my burner off now. This is two cups of butterscotch chips. Butterscotch. That's two cups. Whoops! <laughs> there was some stuck in there. And you, you want to, now this, you have to stay here and, and stir it, because this has got to melt. 
and it takes a little bit of whipping to get it. You want to get them all melted. So I just use my, I'm using my silicone, silicone um, whip, uh, whisk, but um, I could use the metal one because you can use that in these pots, but I just didn't want to. So I'm using the silicone. And it's really not as sturdy, you know, yeah. to whip, but it does work because I used it last night. So, um, how was your trip up here this morning? Every time I pass by the airport, Mary, I think about all those mornings yeah. and those early flights. Yeah. And we were at Gregg County Airport, or East Texas Regional now is what it's called. But, yeah, um, it's just, I never, never fail to think about it, us getting up at the crack of dawn and being over there because it, it used to be early flights yeah, right yeah it did i want to pick up those two or three i picked up two i guess yeah. i didn't pick them all up That's okay. um anyway it's cool mornings we're we're at the time of year where we love this kind of weather and um you walk outside and it's just like a breath of fresh air because it's so nice and cool I didn't tell you about the painters yesterday, Mary. No, did they come? They, they came the other day for an estimate. That I've had two people to come for um, estimates. We had, um, our roof has been on our house. We got it put on the year after we moved there. So it's yeah. been on there for tw over 26 years. And we had a couple of spots that uh, we Excuse knew me. that the roof was going to be need to replace. And... It wasn't any kind of a storm. It was just wear and tear, regular wear and tear. So, you know, that means it comes out of your pocket. You don't use insurance for it. So I wanted to get, and we got that schedule. Don't know when they're coming, but I wanted to get the inside of the ceiling of the house painted. And Mike painted the bathroom, but I wanted to get our bedroom painted. So the one guy that came last week really liked him. He was recommended by a friend. He called me Sunday and told me he couldn't do it. Oh, no. So I was very disappointed about that. Reasonable estimate and uh, said it would take about a week. And then the other ones came and I literally almost, literally almost had a fit. Almost three times his estimate was almost three times the other one. So not going to get no painting done this year. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, Linda. Uh, this is one tablespoon of K-Row syrup. And what i done is I buttered my uh, measuring spoon so it would come out better. So one tablespoon of K-Row syrup and one teaspoon of this caramel. You're using the same thing you used yeah, I'm yesterday. Using, I'm using this caramel flavoring. So one teaspoon of it. In the recipe for you members, it says to, whenever you put your uh, butter, your chips in your milk to remove it from the heat. But I'm telling you, I, I've done it two or three different ways. I leave it on the burner, even though it's off. There's still a little bit of heat. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I'll just start with this. It's already whipped okay. up, Linda. Um, it says to remove it from the heat, but um, the chips all don't get melted as easy. But so I turn the electric stove off and and stir in the chips while it's um uh while it's still on the burner. It's heat, but it's not getting hot. So if you're using a gas stove, if you're using a gas stove, then uh, maybe put it on the simmer, the little small burner after you add the chips, but don't leave it on there. Don't get, don't boil it. That's what I'm saying. So, all right, Linda, you want to show them this? I've got, and you can see all the chips are melted because I did leave it on the stove, even though it was off. Because the first time I made this, I did exactly what the recipe said. I took it off of the burner and, uh, it was hard to get all those chips completely melted. Now, I am putting this over to the side to cool. 
Now, thank you, Linda. You're for welcome. I just didn't up. want us to step. I in. don't know why it is, but I, every time I use those whisks on those boilers, they do not. They won't stay. Have you I, ever done I that? I dropped mine too. I dropped mine on the counter all the time, and uh, I just cannot learn to not leave it. Yeah, it's leave top it in the bucket. Yeah, yeah, it is. So now I'm going to beat the cream, um, uh, cream cheese in the butter. And I know this is loud. Um, but I, I didn't want to beat it ahead of time because I wanted to show y'all I thought about it but I didn't It takes a large bowl to put this because you're because it takes the powder sugar. Powder sugar. Are you ready for that? Um, okay. Um, the salt goes in with the powdered sugar. I've okay. got. Uh, this is not measured, Linda. Oh, okay. This is not measured, but this is the whole bag. Uh, how many ounces is this? Thirty-two. Thirty-two ounces. That's this is the whole bag, and I sifted it. It takes eight cups of powdered sugar. So. If if you'll um and put um let's see it takes the salt, salt. In yeah it. we put the salt in that uh it's a teaspoon of um this is kosher salt i was sea salt is what i was going to put in there oh well i'll just put this in there okay that's your first two cups you said eight cups right yes yeah. okay Kind of stir it. All right, just uh, go ahead and put it in there. All of it at one time? Mm -hmm. All of it at one time. Now, this is this is not really cool that much, but I'm going to alternate this butterscotch in with, with the powdered sugar, kind of like you do um, oil and... and um, flour, I mean milk and flour, where you just kind of alternate it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'll put a little bit more now. Now drop it. Now do it. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. That was good. It is real good. And we've been praying for everybody in Florida, too. We have lots of yeah. friends down there and family. Our cousin lives in uh, the Tampa area. I think they've moved to higher ground, haven't they? I think they did. I think that's what Karen said. Yeah. But I know Colette, a lot of our friends uh, that watch us live in that Florida area. Mike has a sister that lives down there, Janet, and all of her family. In Florida, well, uh, Roy... Grace's husband, so her sister lives. Don't her sister? Don't okay, his sister? I didn't know that. Live in Florida? Yeah, she does. That's where um, Andy and his girlfriend oh, right. gonna get married. Now, would you push the sides down? To oh, yeah. please. Scrape the sides of the bowl. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's where she wants to have her wedding down there because they want to visit Jennifer. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put some more of this. All right. Just Break it across. Thank you. Uh oh. Linda, you want to show them what it's. Okay. It smells so it, good. It, it, it does smell good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Ready for some more? Yeah, put me some more in there. Okay, that's Thank six you. cups. Okay. I'm hoping that uh, that it'll be that a, bag will be enough. Yeah, <laughs> it probably don't have a little bit left because you sifted it. Yeah, I sifted it because I didn't want the lump, no lumps to be in it. I, and I'll be making, a, I'm going to make 
chocolate cake. Um, um, I guess I'll make it Saturday. Now you want to put some more powdered sugar? Now how many? Is, how many would that be? That'll be eight. Okay. Get put about half of it in here, okay. if you don't mind. You're saying Saturday? You're what did I say? Make it Saturday. The chocolate cake? Yeah. We're not leaving to Sunday, are we? Oh, that's right. We we've, we've we've gone back and forth. I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> We're uh, for Linnell's birthday party. Just go ahead and scrape all that in there, Linda. Just scrape it on out. It's a little warm, and but what I made last night is cold. So I may add a little bit to it. To I thought I got it and I left That's somewhere okay. in there. That's okay. All right. All right. Me and Carla will take care of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Linda. Yes, too. Yes. yes. We'll I'll, be, I'll probably <laughs> use that uh, oh, to scrape. scrape the bow. Uh-oh. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Ready for the rest? Or not quite? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and put the rest of it in here. Mmm, that's good. Uh, and then the recipe it says once you get all this mixed up to put it in the refrigerator um, for 30 minutes. And that's another reason why that I went ahead and made this last night because uh, I don't want to wait 30 minutes for this to, because it, for, to dress the cake, this was going to be too, uh, yeah, too warm. Too warm. You want me to scrape down the sides? Would you please? Because it's real thin. But trust me, when it's, if you put it in the refrigerator, it, get, it firms up a lot. So, there we are. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna see how spreadable this is. Um, let's see, what did I do What with do you it? need? That, that, uh, um, the cake spreader. I think it's uh, right there. I'm gonna see um, the dip. Yeah. Are you talking about that offset spatula? Well, not, yeah, the offset spatula. I don't see it. Well, maybe I, maybe I, sorry, I did. I kept it. I was going to see how, th no, this, I'm, I'm going to use this first. Okay. So I'm going to set this in the refrigerator. Those can go in the pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, I won't take it all off because we got plenty of it, trust me. All right. the put that in, in the there pan. for them, and I'm going to put this in the that refrigerator. Was a, that was always a fun job for kiddos, wasn't it? Yep. Big kiddos, too. You're through with the mixer, I'm right? I'm through with the mixer, yep. So here's the cake. And I don't have a um, cake stand like Linda does. Mary, I could have so, brought Oh, that's brought okay. Mine. No, no, this right here worked fine. I'm just going to put a little bit of, um, and I, I didn't have a, just a plain white one, and so I, I had to brought one, one of them. <laughs> I ask her every morning, is there some, well, I didn't this well, morning before I left the house, right. but. Um, I just put a little bit of, that's really too much. I just need a little bit on there to hold that cake, keep that you cake You want me to get the turning. cakes out of the oven? I got them I mean, right I, here. Oh, you already got yeah. them out of the refrigerator? So I just wrap them. Now these, I only wrap twice. I usually wrap them more than twice when I'm putting them in the freezer, but I knew I was getting them out today. Yeah. But if you're going to, you can freeze this up to a month in the fridger, in the freezer. Um, and But put wrap it more than twice if you're going to keep it in the freezer. So get that centered. All right, now that cake won't move. Uh, Linda, if you'll get the um, bowl of pecans with that fourth cup on top. Okay. We're going to put some pecans. Now see how this, if you put it in the refrigerator, if you make this ahead of time, like I did, you'll have to let it um, almost come to room temperature whenever you get the next morning. I've had this out for a while. But if you just put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, it would be okay 
to go ahead and, and yeah, wash that's your a cake. good consistency. Yeah. If um, if you're you, these are really good tips that Mary has given y'all. If you frost a warm cake with stiff icing, it's going to pull the cake apart. Right, exactly. And I'm going to go ahead and do And all the, you bakers out there know what we're talking about. And if, you ha if you're not used to baking, this will save you some grief. Uh, Linda, not, go ahead. Not so. wind up making a trifle out of your cake. Yeah. Um, Linda can give you more tips about decorating than I can. No, these, um, were, these were excellent, what you've been telling them. You know, to secure the cake on the board. Do you um, do you ice and uh, frost your sides as you go or not? I do. You do. I yeah, do. I do too. I sure do. Uh, and you've also got this non-grip on there yeah. to keep that board from yeah. sliding. Yeah. This right here. This. Um, what do you call shelf those? paper? Sh it's just no, shelf that's shelf. Pa this is shelf paper, and it keeps it from uh, the board from sliding. Are you talking about the wood board? No, right, I was talking about paper. the uh, cake. The, the cake, cake round. Yeah, it's the, called a cake round. Yeah. Is what it's called. And I always get a, a larger cake round than the cake. You need you? that, yes, I because if you're going to put a border on it, you need it. And if you're not, yeah. it just gives it a little extra space. Right. And if you're putting it on, and I think I've mentioned this before, if you're putting it on a certain size cake plate, you need to keep that in mind. You can't put an eight inch cake that's on a nine inch circle on yeah. an eight inch cake plate plate if it has a lip right, on it. Right. If it has a lip on it, it's not gonna fit. Right. That is And when correct. we say lip, something that turns up because it it actually makes the space smaller. Yeah. And and it doesn't work. It, and it's gonna come over the sides. In the recipe that's on the website, it tells you to uh, crumb cake this and w what crumb cake is is putting a thin layer on the sides yeah a thin layer I'm not doing that today because if I'm doing a crumb cake I have to make a thin layer and that is when this is soft yeah you have to put it if you use that in 30 minutes after you put it in the refrigerator if you use the frosting you're gonna have to do a crumb cake because it's not gonna be this stiff because this is in there all night yeah just do a thin coat around the edges and um, and then put it in the refrigerator. Once you get all the layers on there, put it in the refrigerator till it sets. Then come back and yes. frost the top. And what a I crumb mean, coat does is it keeps you from getting crumbs in your regular, in your last, right. uh, in your last layer of frosting. Right. All right, and now I'm going to take a fourth a cup. This is some of the pecans that I chopped yesterday. And they're toasted. And they're toasted. So this is a fourth a cup of pecans I'm going to put in between the layers. My hands are clean. I just washed them. And I'm putting a little bit more. <laughs> just kind of spread it. I guess I could spread it, get a knife, case knife, and spread them out. And another thing, too, y'all may notice that uh, Mary didn't have many crumbs on her cake. And I'll tell you, there's two reasons why. It's because you use the parchment around mm -hmm. the edges. Yeah. That I'll take helps. another layer, please. And, um, and the fact that it was so cold. Right. Yeah. I could have had this undone for well, you, but okay. I wasn't sure if there was a certain layer you no, wanted next or not. It doesn't matter because they're all... Sometimes it does matter which layer I leave for the last. If I have, a, uh, if I have one layer that is, uh, that's a little bit thicker and puffy on top, I use that for the top layer. But these, they all... They were pretty much even. They was all yeah. pretty much even. This is a tall cake going to be a tall cake. And this icing is perfect um, for frosting. And like I said, I made this last night, put a cover on it, left it in the refrigerator, and then I let it sit out on the counter for probably seven, eight, nine, ten, probably three hours. And I did use the mixer and beat it up to kind of lo loosen it up a little bit because it was hard this morning. <laughs> this morning, okay. out of the refrigerator, it was very, the frosting was very 
thick and hard, and there was no way you could frost a cake with it until it and uh, And you up. might tend to want to stick it in the microwave. No, don't do, do that. Do not do that unless you really know what you're doing. Right. Because <laughs> you're going to wind up with soup if you do. Yep. Yep. And I've done it. I was gonna, but I do it a very I, few seconds too. at a time, and I yep. stand there. Yep. And I because if you do it too much, you you ruin your icing. I um, you're false. I even thought about it, you know, because it was so hard. I said, you know what? I know I could put this <laughs> for a few seconds, and I would probably would have done it if I'd have been in a hurry. Um, if it hadn't been that I was afraid that I might goof up and let, and do it too long, but I know I can do it. I. I do a lot of things that way that's hard. Yeah, there's always more. One, well, I want, Mama used to have a little saying, um, there's more than one ways to, what, what is, I, I know what she's saying, but. I do too. I don't know if you're going to say that or not. She, we, my mama never skinned a cat, y'all. She used to say there's more than one ways to skin a cat. That's what part. For our, <laughs> for our pet lovers, there is nobody no. that loves pets any more than my husband does. He will feed anything that moves. <laughs> I think I finally broke him of that after Gypsy died. He just he can't handle any yeah. more losses. But um, that was just an old saying yeah, people used I know. to say. <laughs> I know. Tell you about Braden. Okay. He found a dog on the trail. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he did his five miles in record time because him and that dog booked it. Is that? Oh my goodness! He, he found a friend. He loved it. I know he did. So was it somebody's that just happened to be out there, um, or it had a it had a tag tag? Yeah. So it had to have been somebody's, but. Braden adopted it for five miles. He did not want to leave. I don't yeah. see how in the world he, he runs five dogs. miles every day. Barefooted. Barefooted. That boy does not like to wear shoes. Oh, my goodness. I know it. Is it concrete? Yeah, the asphalt. The it asphalt? Is, it's concrete. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Uh, He's well, tough. Yeah. He said the shoes hurt his feet. Well, um, um, me and Mary have been talking about her. Mary and I, y'all, I know what proper English is. I just don't always use it. But um, we've been talking about we need to sit down playing our funerals. Aunt Lucy had hers playing, didn't she? <laughs> I didn't know what you tell my girls that. <laughs> uh oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but but one thing I was thinking about, I cannot stand to go barefooted. You better make sure I got some shoes on in that coffin, because I will come back and haunt you if I can. Because I do not, I don't go barefooted in my own house. I do not like to go barefooted. I don't go barefooted either. And I think it's from the sand that we had that growing we up did, in East Texas. Yeah, we went barefooted then, didn't we? That sand? Do not I like I anything that touching tray. my feet. No grit, no sand. And I live barefooted. And, and a lot and of people do. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even know that we went barefooted that much when we were kids, Mary. Well, I remember that sand being hot, so I must have been but barefooted. We must have, been, we must have gone barefooted yeah. Uh, yeah. a lot when we were kids. And if y'all ain't never put your feet on hot sand, you don't know what it is hot, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, we were raised on the Texas Gulf Coast beach sands. They get pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. All right, we now we're gonna Ready put some pecans on it. Oh, pecans. well that's okay. I do need another. Oh, you, I've got it unwrapped. Okay. okay, put another fourth a cup. The recipe calls for two cups of pecans. We put one cup in the cake. All right, and now we'll put that cake on top. I don't know why, and I think I'm doing the same thing on this one. Seems like when I do cakes, they almost like they. Not straight up and down this way. Well, you know, do you ever do one like that? It's um. Sometimes when you're looking at it, you know, you have to kind of step back and look uh, um, from a different angle, yeah. you know, to make sure that it's on there right. This is a big cake, ain't it? Yeah, it is a big cake. Yep. Do you have a box big enough to put that in? I don't Tall know. enough? Tall Probably enough. not. I really wasn't planning on carrying this <laughs> other than oh, pieces. Oh, okay. I'm not... You saw me taking it up, Linnea. Yeah, yeah. I might take some of it, but we're gonna have to eat a piece of this. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want to. I'm not gonna take the whole cake. 
I was going to say, I would, but bring, I will take I would bring you one of my 8-inch boxes. My cake boxes that I used to put my cakes in are 8 inches tall. And uh, you can get them taller than that. But those cake boxes are very expensive. I imagine. I just don't want this, this top layer to be not be even. I used to, when I first started baking, I would pay like... Um, Twenty-five was it twenty-five dollars, and then it then then they tripled. It went up to seventy-five dollars. The last time before I quit baking for the public, I was going to order a case of these boxes, and there's twenty-five in a case. It was three hundred and something dollars. Wow! Seriously, <laughs> three hundred oh, and something dollars for a case. Wow! And I didn't order them. Yeah. I said I can't make any money off of cakes. And I, I refuse to put my cakes in a cheap, flimsy box. I just wouldn't do it. Well, I don't know. They, I don't know how you carry them because they're too heavy. Yeah. The cakes are too heavy yeah. and they're too tall. And you need to have a cake box that closes that has a lid on it. Yeah. You're charging top dollar for cakes and you don't want right. to deliver it to somebody and it fall apart while you're getting it out of your car. Wouldn't that be terrible? <laughs> yeah, it would. You know what I've been eating in the mornings? And I think I'm going to make some homemade. What? Y'all probably make some really good apple butter. Oh. Oh, I love apple yeah. butter. It tastes like Christmas. Uh, one, of our, um, one of our friends in Mississippi um, sent us a jar of apple butter last year. Oh, that they, she yeah, made. That, she sure did. She sure did. And then I think, was it Linnell that gave us some? Or somebody gave us another jar that was, I love apple butter on toast. And I've never made it, Linda. Really? No, nope, I've never made it. I hadn't. Well, I Have put you? it on my list of things to make. It. I think it takes a long time, like you're cooking down, doesn't it, Mary? Doesn't it take like it watermelon does, rind preserves? Because you have to, yeah. Because you have to cook it for a long time. But I have not ever made it. I'm just assuming that that's that yeah. you have to because I'm thinking uh, to get I'm thinking that you do thickness. Cook it a long time. Yeah. That looks so beautiful. Well, you think? Uh, it's big. <laughs> that would win. It, that would I win hope it tastes ribbon. as good as that one did at your birthday party. I know party. it will. Uh, all right, now. Somehow you evened it out. It's not crooked anymore. Really? Yeah, it looks really pretty, well, Mary. You did a great it job. Because you could tell it that it was slanting a little bit. I could, too. Yeah. I could, too. But my mama taught me if you don't have anything nice to say, not say anything. Well, that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Mary didn't have to do this, but between her layers, because she kept putting the frosting on there, and because the cake was cold, yeah, it didn't run out. Right. But if you've got like a space between your layers, you can put some frosting in a piping bag and pipe a pipe a circle around it, and then it'll fill in those empty spaces. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if I can okay. do it or not. Try to smooth out my, my. Sherry McKnight Witt is her first time catching a live, and she says she loves you guys. Oh. Well, hi, Look Sherry. Up. Thank you so much for watching us. We hope you'll share us with your friends and continue to watch us. I'm Where not. is Sherry from? Um, she doesn't say. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it at that. I think that's about the best I can do. I like that messy. Did you? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not completely smooth, but it looks beautiful. And another thing, too, and Mary, she'll probably tell y'all, but if you're going to add anything to a cake, uh, you need to do it like any pecans or decorations. You need to do it right after it's frosted because yes. once it sets, right. it's not going to stay on there. Right. Okay. Do with that. Yeah. Oh, y'all got that. a lot on this one. Yeah. It's the good stuff in there. All right, you're through with the uh, with the pieces. Or are you going to use any of these? I'm going to put some pecans in the middle. Some just some halves. That looks really pretty. Um, we got to remember to take a picture.
We didn't take uh, a picture of the layers yesterday, but I did. We, oh, did you? Oh, mm -hmm. What about last week? I meant to ask you, and I forgot. What did we do last week? Fried pies? Was it pork loins? Oh, uh, uh, the sweet potatoes and pork. Let's see. We were at. The, we didn't cook last week. It was the funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Cook one no, day. you yeah. cook. I cook yeah. pork here. orange sweet potatoes and the sausage. Yeah, I think you I did. did take a picture, but I'm not positive. You did. Now I put some frosting, and this is where I'm not <laughs> real. Um, I don't know if I can do it because uh, this is still hard. This is some I is made it? last night. Yeah, I may not be able to do it. If you want, if you get it hard. started. Yeah. It's not soft enough. It's not soft enough. But I know what I can do. But no, I don't have the tip out. I was going to say, I have a bag over there. I could put some of that. Yeah. That soft isn't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off. Would you, you, would you wash that out or take that mm -hmm. out? So, um, that is really cold. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, uh, hand me the bowl, Linda. Now, y'all getting it live. Okay, you know, when you, when you, um, things are not working out right, just, I'm mm -hmm. fixing and push this all out. Stir Let's, it a little bit. No, I'm going to put that salt in there. Oh, okay. Do you need me to move some of this? Yeah, yeah. I'll take that spoon. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the salt, if you'll set that over there, and hand me that can that thing again, please. And did you wipe the tip out for me? Um, yes. I'm going to put some that I, th I this didn't is wash what, it because it didn't want that's water okay. in it. That's okay. This is what I just made, and it's going to be soft. Oh, I should have used a smaller spoon. You see how soft this is? Yeah, that's it really soft. hasn't been in the um, in the um, refrigerator. It hadn't been in the refrigerator long enough because, like, I, this is how it gets whenever um, when it's too soft. But and I don't know that it will work. I, I guess I could have mixed it with some of that cold. It probably would work better. I'm not going to put a lot in here because I'm not even sure this is going to work. Because it being so soft. So we'll see. Where's the lid, please? Right there. Okay. Let me move this bowl. Just give for me you. a paper towel, wipe this off. I'm sorry. It's all right. You want this back in the refrigerator? Please. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna, I'm going to try. make a mess I'm gonna get it on video <laughs> okay. it'll squeeze a lot easier oh yeah it's gonna depend it depend on how soft it is whether or not it holds its shape right it may run right down that cake <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get it too close to the edge so that it's actually doing pretty good. It's doing better than I thought it'd be because it's so soft. I know. This is your. Oh, you no, you're, do doing, you're doing good. Just do it a little small. Now, if it was. um, Try holding it up. Kind of uh, a little, little straighter. Okay, like this? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Linda. That, that bad. Is that better? Yeah. Well, y'all getting the... It looks really pretty. See me experiment. Because <laughs> I didn't do Linda's cake like this at the, um, at her birthday party. And you know the reason why? I don't know how I did it, but... I use all the frosting on your cake. I, I yeah, had a little bit left, left, but I, I didn't have enough to do what I wanted to, so I just didn't do it. But you, you made more than one batch here, so. Uh, yeah. So, if you want to do this, 
then don't put your frosting as thick as what I did because right. I've got that thick. Let's see here, how to do this? Um, I've used, I may not have enough for frosting. I did think about that. Uh, you may I'll, have to put some more in it if you're yeah. going to go all the way around it. Yeah, I probably will. But if I can get it around half of it, I think that's it. <laughs> I'll let to put some more in it. This is what I want it to oh, look like. Nobody can tell. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> yeah. Now, we won't keep y'all any longer. I'm just going to put some more of the frosting out of the refrigerator in this. And this is the cake. So That's beautiful, Mary. Um, you did a great job. Well, thank you, Linda. Anyway, I, you know, this is something that y'all can can uh, fix the way, whatever, however you want it to, to dressing it up fancy or whatever. But this is a butter, bu uh, Texas pecan butter cake, and it's I mean, butter scotch cake. Butter scotch. Get it right in a minute. <laughs> we sure love y'all and appreciate y'all hanging in there with us and. And it took two videos to do this, but it's I beautiful. knew I could not do that frosting and the cake in one video. So now this cake is too pretty to cut. It's oh, so pretty. yeah, we are going to cut it. They're wanting you to. There's people yeah. sitting there with them. Okay. Yeah. Get a get a get a, <laughs> get a, a okay. saucer and get a long. Where is your? Um, do you have a cake knife? Oh well, I probably do. Just get in one of those. I think. You don't want the bread knife, do you? No, but there's, yeah, that'll be all right. But I got, I also, I think I got the uh, the one that comes with the steak set. Ain't that in there? This I don't one? know. No. Just give me the big one. Just give me the big one. Be fine. I do have a cake knife this long. Um, I thought it was in that thing, but I guess it's not. Well, we don't have one with Pampered Chef, do uh, we? It's the uh, carbon set, Linda. Oh, the, the carbon, carbon set. set. Oh, okay. The carbon set has a long knife. That's okay. All right, we're going to cut this cake. Did, um, Did y'all get a picture? Nope. Take a picture of it, Linda. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. <laughs> I could have got my knife, by the way. Now, I guess I will cut it like a slice. It's a big cake. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through that one more time. Now, if they didn't want that big of a piece, they could cut part of the way through. Right, right. And it wouldn't be that tall, I'm right, Mary? Cut, right. I'm not going to cut a big slice. And we'll just all take a taste out of this. That's a pretty good slice you were cutting. Well, I tried to cut a small slice. But that's a lot of cake. That's a lot of cake. Oh, that's beautiful. That well, looks. I want a picture of that. Too. That looks picture perfect. Let that look pretty. Yeah, let's show them the other side. That it's cut. You want to? Cut yeah, let way. them see where it's cut there. I didn't have the. I, I should have cut it where the frosting was, so you could see the. Trying to get the shadow well. Okay. And can they see it? Yes. There. Okay. Isn't that pretty? All right, Linda. Let's have it. I just took some off of the knife. <laughs> this cake's still firm. From uh, but I'm telling you, this cake would taste twice as good two or three days later. Mm. Because, I mean, it soaks all those flavors in it. I eat way too much of that cake <laughs> that whenever I made it for your birthday. It is so decadent. It's rich. Mm -hmm. It's just the perfect amount of frosting. And those pecans, and like Mary said, any cake that is like this, after two or three days, it will taste even better if that's possible than yeah. it does today. Yeah, yeah. it's... It's very, very good. We thank y'all for staying with us. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for hanging in there whenever there's mistakes made. For we stars. Didn't, we didn't, yeah, for the stars. We didn't, um, met, we didn't delete the video yesterday. Somebody else, I don't know how it happened, but 
Anyway, it, it was messed up, but we got it back on there. Yeah, little one to put it back. Yeah. Thank y'all so much, and I guess um, we will uh, be live Sunday. Right. Um, Sunday. Sometimes. Sometime Sunday. during the day, Sunday. Um, and we'll because we're going to be visiting our brother and his wife. Yeah. So we thank y'all so much. Don't forget to count your blessings. We love y'all. Bye bye. Enjoy this beautiful weather and prayers for everybody in Florida. Yes. Bye bye.